U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency reported earlier this month that border arrests soared to an all-time high in fiscal year 2021, with authorities detaining more than 1.7 million migrants along the Mexican-U.S. border. Think it's bad now? Just wait till they find out that if they play their cards right, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash payments could be waiting for them on the other side. Who knows? My next guest is looking to unseat Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, Chief Operating Officer of Teal Capital and President of the Teal Foundation, Blake Masters. Blake, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, bud. But first off, Blake, I mean, they're saying now, this reporting just coming out in the last 24 hours, that the U.S. government could pay out as much as a million dollars per migrant family, $450,000 an individual, to those who were separated under the Trump administration's enforcement policies at the border starting around 2018, a few years ago. What do you, what do you make of this? I mean, for a lot of people, this seems like quite a shock. It's almost the most shocking thing imaginable. Uh, you know, we, we're governed by this ruling class that just hates Americans. They have contempt for people who were born here, right? This idea that you're going to pay 450,000 bucks in cash to illegal aliens uh, is, is absolutely crazy. There's just no other word for it. It is just crazy. The people I talk to on the ground in Arizona are just apoplectic about this. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. I mean, you're, you're running in a border state. And what does it mean when you go around and you speak to people about the border situation specifically? I mean, what, what are their chief concerns? What are the things that they want to raise to the national consciousness as, as part of our national political conversation? I mean, just law and order, right? President Trump knew that law and order starts at the southern border. That's something that uh, those of us who live in southern Arizona, we know all too well. Uh, you know, you talk to sheriff's deputies down here because Border Patrol is being handcuffed by the Biden administration. So much of this burden falls on the small county sheriffs and the, and the deputies. And we're just being overwhelmed. Like, it's so unfair. We are just being overwhelmed because this administration refuses to enforce the law. And then when you promise people cash payments, right, when you promise people, hey, come here illegally, we'll put you up in a hotel, you'll get a lawyer. Well, of course, people are going to come. You know, and, and that's why you see this giant caravan heading our way right now. It's, uh, it's disgusting. Why do you think the Democrat elites are so open to, well, at this point, I think they're, they're just clearly in favor of illegal immigration. What do you think they're, yep. that they're seeing as the benefit of this uh, politically, culturally, and otherwise? I mean, why, why have they effectively turned the Democrat Party into one that favors open borders, particularly for migrants from the third world. Yeah, I think part of it is about undercutting American born workers. I think part of it is about, you know, cheap labor and and sort of giving rich Democrat, you know, corporate interests uh, handouts in the form of cheap labor. But I, I think the unsayable thing, or I'm just going to, you know, say it is I think it's about demographic change. You know, I think the left wants to consolidate and shore up power. And I think they've realized this is a long term electoral strategy. If you can have open borders and kind of flood the zone, get as many people to come here as possible, promise them free stuff, and then eventually grant them amnesty, you know, the Democrat bet is that uh, those people are going to break Democrat and they'll be able to, to keep winning elections. Um, I, I think it is that simple. Is there expectation, I mean, I know you're running yourself, that when it does come time for the American people to cast their vote in the upcoming midterm election, that this Democrat policy at the border and really the Biden administration's obvious failures and, and perhaps even lack of intent to secure the border will have real electoral consequences? Or do you think the media is able to downplay and even cover up what's going on to the extent that we might not have the accountability? I mean, how do you see it playing out? Well, the, certainly the media will try, right? And the, the Democratic Party in Arizona, their official position is there is no border crisis, right? So they're just lying, they're gaslighting. But one of the gifts that President Trump gave us was he uh, delegitimated the mainstream media. So most people know right now that the CNN line is, is basically just fake. Most people know there is a crisis. I think we're going to see a huge electoral shift to punish the people in charge in 2022. Doesn't mean be complacent. You know, you, you can't just think, oh, there's going to be a red wave. We have to work to make it happen. Uh, but I do. I think with the right amount of prep work, we will crush the Democrats in 2022 because what they're allowing to happen at our southern border, it is criminal.